Post-game highlights are presented by Kroger, the official grocer of your rail yard dogs. A new visitor makes her way to Berglund Center for the very first time tonight as your Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs will host the Quad City Storm heading into the final weekend of 2022. Curtis Hansen. Holy smokes, he knocks the lid off him with that contact. Hepner in the trapezoid, tries to feed it to DeVito. He shoots, he scores! Nick DeVito lets that arrow fly. Roanoke strikes first. It's one to nothing with 849 to go in the first. Brady Hepner was left alone in the trapezoid by the Quad City net. Had the time to pick up the pass, and Nick DeVito sneaks towards the front of the net and one times it underneath the equipment of Birkin to give Rono the early lead. And that's how period number one comes to a close. Rono Cup one to nothing. Nick DeVito on a sweet pass from Brady Hepner, able to slide it underneath the equipment of Bailey Birkin at the 11-11 mark. Nick Ford will grab an assist on it as well, and that sends us to the first intermission. And that's how period number two comes to an end. No scoring in that middle frame. Some good goaltending from Austin Rodebush and Bailey Birkin. It's still a one to nothing lead for the Rail Yard Dogs at the end of two periods. Wraps back to the left wing circle. He shot, he scored! I'm not sure if DeVito got a tip on it. We'll have to wait to see who leads the line. And they say it's Nick Ford. He makes it two to nothing with 17.33 to go in the third period. Just kind of rolled it underneath the traffic at the body of Birkin to double the Roanoke advantage. Back to Roman. Roman shot. He scored. Mizzo tipped it in. 14.28 to go in the third. Billy Mizzo on the tip shot that came from Jared Roman gets his sixth goal in his last five games. Give him 13. It's three to nothing, dogs. Billy Bizzo is red hot, folks. Ford still all by himself. Knocked a man over, now trucks over Beaumont, and now he gets jumped from behind by a storm skater, it's Price. Price jumped him from behind and grabbed him up around the neck and slammed him down. Now Shin Carrick's gonna drop the gloves with the rail yard dog. He's gonna go with Brady Hepner. Hepner trying to get the left hand free on Shin Carrick. Shin Carrick's had the rights going, and they split it up quickly. Jansen throwing it in front, Marcy Kamek scores! A power play goal for Tom Marcy Kamek's his fourth goal of the year, and it's four to nothing Dogs over Quad City with just over five minutes to go in the third. Pretty display of passing. Jansen was able to slip it to the near post. Roto gets a power play goal on their first try tonight. And they stay up a man, five on four, for another minute and five seconds.
Carlson went after Marcin Kavings. That's a huge disadvantage in size. 6'5 versus 5'9. Now Duncan is going after it with Gossic in the far side corner. Duncan starts hammering it with the uppercuts as they went down to the ice. It's going to take a lot to pry those two away. They're still going at it with the linesman all in it. Brody Duncan finally gets the tilt. And now Beaumont's got a man tied up. It's Nidadol. He took Nidadol's helmet off from behind. This is getting out of hand, folks. That's how that one ends tonight. Quad City's first visit to Berkeley Center in their franchise's history. It's in a shutout. It's Roto 4, Quad City 0, as they stomp the storm this evening. Austin Rodemich, a 30 save shutout for the Rail Yard Dogs. My three starts tonight, Nick Ford with a goal and an assist. A goal with two assists, including the game-winning goal for Nick DeVito gets my second star. Austin Rodebush with a 30-save shutout. He gets his 12th win of the year, 13 games in a row. This guy continues to show up, continues to get the job done. There's a reason he has the championship belt, folks. What a night. Listen to the roar for him. Post-game highlights are presented by Kroger, the official grocer of your rail yard dogs.